Okay, hey guys, this is uh, Composited C2 or John here, and I'm going to be showing you a quick little tutorial on how to render faster in Cinema 4D. Um, the concepts that I'm going to show you in here do apply to Photoshop, so I'll show you how to do that later in the tutorial. Basically, you're going to open up Cinema 4D with your Lightroom or whatever. You're going to go to Edit, Preferences, and in Preferences, you're going to have all these different options. You're going to want to find Memory. And in memory, you have Project, Render, Body Paint, 3D, and Picture Viewer. You're going to want to play with Picture Viewer because basically this is your render button that's also called Picture Viewer. So kind of two and two together. But um, I it's based off of your RAM. So uh, I have 4 gigabytes of RAM, but I only have usable 3.46 gigabytes. So I'm kind of at the limit of what I can do with my computer right now until I get some more RAM. But I mean, this does make a difference. You're going to want to play with this number right here in Picture Viewer, Memory, or Megabytes. And uh, you're going to want to bump it up to how much RAM you have. Um, it, like I said, it does make a difference. When my computer crashed, I tried to render out something uh, from one of my previous Lightrooms, and it took me an hour and a half. And then I did the same Lightroom after I bumped this number up, and it only took me 25 minutes. So uh, seeing is believing. And uh, I'm going to quickly show you how to do it in Photoshop, too. So you're going to close that, open Photoshop, and uh, edit Preferences Performance. And in here it will give you the ideal range of what you want for um, Photoshop. I have mine near the top of it. So um, it's basically the same concept. You're going to either move this little cursor around or put your numbers in this box. So um, that's, really all, like, that's really all you need to know on how to change your memory for the program it is kind of hidden but it does help <coughs> um in photoshop instead of rendering quicker it's going to keep your program um kind of more up to date and active instead of having uh having it crash and lag um it really does help so um i hope you guys like this tutorial i'm going to be doing some more later on and uh nothing on our style don't expect anything out of us on our style uh, that's going to be kept a secret until, I don't know, a big number. But um, I'm going to be doing some small little things, some render tips in Cinema 4D, maybe how to build your own custom Lightroom, kind of some smaller things that people kind of overlook when they first start. So uh, really, you got to start from the bottom, and then you work your way up, and that's how me and C C1 have done it. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Subscribe if you like it. Like and comment on the video, it really helps, and uh, thank you. See ya.